My next guest, ladies and gentlemen, is a very special lady who is also very intriguing. She communicates with spirits as well as galactic kin. Meet the fabulous Lucinda Randolph. Oh, there you are in all your glory. So glittery as well. Take a Indeed. seat. Oh my God, I was so looking forward to meeting you because as the moment the co-producer told me about you and your work, I just couldn't stop googling you. <laughs> Reading You've stuff looked about me you. up. <laughs> yes, you did. Uh, I think uh, in the past you did uh, a show with Edwina Curry and Samantha Fox. I did. And then yes. You, uh, that was called What's On, isn't it? Uh, what now? Yes. What yes. now? Yes. What yes. now. Yes. These days, it's nice to know that there are people like you, and there are um, lots of also like the galactic kin. I want to know about that and the galaxy and the alien things. And tell me about that. That's just so <laughs> thrilling. Um, I made a friend called Jeff who, a few years ago. Well, I was introduced to um, a chap called Jeff and he was a very high level teacher's teacher mm -hmm. and he, he knew about the spirit world and all the universes. And he, I think he was the first person to tell me about our galactic kin. But since then I've been learning about, it's such a big topic and... What is galactic kin? You what can explain I to our to audience. I'm sure they're just waiting to hear what this is about. What I refer to as galactic kin is what other people refer to as aliens or extraterrestrials or UFOs. Nowadays, there are so many uh, videos on YouTube of UFOs. Mm -hmm. yes. I just call them galactic craft because that's what I, I know they are. I've been to Aseti, where Robbie Williams has been, in Portland, Oregon. Mm -hmm. And if you look up at the sky in this particular place called Aseti, mm -hmm which means I think it's enlightened contact with extraterrestrial uh -huh. intelligence. Well, I should go there. It's it amazing. amazing. Well, if Robbie Williams has been, and, and military personnel have been, and it's amazing. And you sit there in these specially designed chairs and deck chairs, uh -huh. and you look up at the sky, and you can see galactic craft <gasps> going overhead. Oh. And th they're a different shape and size to satellites. Right. And also, because you're on, all on the ground saying, we love you, they power up for you, they get brighter. Right. Um, so I have a little tattoo that pays oh, homage to right. our galactic kin. Yes. But so many people in the military have seen galactic craft. Yeah, and it's I've, all I've heard, over I've YouTube. seen the documentaries. And Everyone in the military has seen them. And it's quite a them. controversial topic as well, you know, because um, in a way I find it strange to, strange that a lot of people refuse to accept the fact that extraterrestrial life exists because we are, our galaxy is just, I mean, um, the, what is, it, what, do you, what is it called? Our galaxy, moon, universe, moon, well, Milky Way? <laughs> what do you call I believe it? that there are infinite universes yeah, out there, exactly. but that's another topic. But I agree, it's arrogant to think that yeah. we're the only life in all, all, all of this. All of the universe, yes, stupidity. exactly. And I hear you're also writing a book. I am, because I'm so passionate about the spirit I world. I can't wait to get a signed copy. In fact, You'll I want to be at the book launch. What is the book about and what's it called? It's called Good Grief, Emmanuel. It's my journey. Good Grief, Emmanuel? <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I always feel flattered there. <laughs> Okay. My book is Good Grief and right. it's my journey meeting, working and playing with the spirit world and then how the reader can too. Ah, so that's good. It's almost like yeah. a how-to with your experience definitely, as well. Definitely, definitely, because I, it breaks my heart that people lose a family member or a friend or someone they care for and they think that's it and it destroys lives and it doesn't need to be like that. Mm. We are spirit. We are spirit in human form. Sting and the police say it. We are spirits in the material world. Mm. Spirit are there every step of the way to guide us, advise us. They're very cheeky and funny, and they they move machineries. There's all kinds of beautiful examples in in the war, old you know, old ancient wars, and even recent times mm -hmm. where they've picked up machinery and moved it to help that particular injured soldier be seen from up above. I mean, wow. they can help us in so many ways. They they play with my machines the whole time, my <laughs> phone, my computer. That must be my interesting. <laughs> That's they fun. also have a <laughs> sense of humour. But do they disrupt your life in any way? No. no. So I think some people have got a very dim view of spirit. And I think they've just heard too many scare stories, which is yes. tosh. I know. Um, but and too many movies as well. Well, exactly. <laughs> this is the thing. The media perpetuates fear. Hollywood perpetuates fear. Because if we don't step in our power, i.e. work with and acknowledge and, you know, have that lovely relationship with spirit mm. we are powerless this is exactly, why people yeah, yeah, yeah. I get are happy that, yes. with their crap lives and i you do know. believe in spirits as well but when i used to tell my friends the experience i've had i haven't had many but there's mm. been the occasional thing and they used to laugh at it because and none of them have had an experience like that so yeah. they don't really understand it well, i'm glad um, you've had experience yeah this. it's been it's wonderful we should talk some more sometime yeah i want to hear more but um Thank you so much for coming. Um, I was so glad when, when my producer told me that you're coming. So I really wish you luck with the book and I look forward to seeing you soon again. Thank you, John. Thank you. God bless. Bye. <laughs>